Now, the world-renowned Spanish guitarist Paco de Lucia has died at the age of 66. The musician dazzled audiences with his lightning-speed flamenco rhythms and finger work. De Lucia, whose real name was Francisco Sanchez Gomez, is credited with promoting flamenco music to a global audience. He also collaborated with jazz and classical musicians. We'll be chatting about his life and legend in a moment, but let's first have a listen to the legend himself. Antonio Forcione, the internationally acclaimed Italian acoustic guitarist, joins us now in the studio. Also, of course, a big fan, like me, big of uh, Paco de Lucia. He, he, Lucia, he was definitely one of the world's greatest guitarists, no? He was um, just uh, outstanding. He was, for me, as a, as a, an innovator, somebody that uh, gave to flamenco, actually um, brought new colours to the, to the flamenco vocabulary. And um, also, there's another thing that, about Paco. I think it was very courageous for him to take on board all this uh, in his career, moving across a path that perhaps wasn't uh, the, the most easy one for him. Just the flamenco players that banned to stay in Spain and play flamenco. And, um, you know, his courage and it took him to basically work with Chick Corea, John McLaughlin, Aldi Meola, other musicians, and that made him the man for me that had a, the guts and, and yeah, the courage to, to, to kind of expand you know, his music knowledge. And, and, and bring it to a global audience, because exactly. I mean, flamenco in its raw form can be quite inaccessible, but, but he yes. banked at sort of what he called gypsy roots in his family for introducing uh, flamenco to his soul in the first place. This is the reason, perhaps, that's why I'm here today talking about him, because I'm Italian, I don't play flamenco strictly, but I, I heard him playing with John McLaughlin uh, especially, I really liked the work that he did with John McLaughlin. And, um, you know, when I saw him in Rome, I was just completely taken by his not only technique, because everybody knows he was an outstanding technique, but I think his way of uh, building his solos in a, such a beautiful, genuine way. And uh, if, if you just pause a moment, we've got we can just got a, a little clip just to show his amazing technique, his the speed. If we yeah. can just bring it up there, it's uh, entre dos aguas. Antonio Forcione, as you say, you're, you're Italian, so you're not, um, your soul is not uh, in Spain, but you met Paco de, Lu de Lucia and... I met Paco and de Lucia, I saw him in, I think, 1981 or 82, playing his album, Solo Quiero Caminar, and uh, I've just been you know, following his career, his music, and I've been seeing him in London every time, and I even gave him one of my albums, and I, I mean, it was, it was amazing hearing that uh, it was, while he was on tour, he was listening to my album all the time. Carlos Benavent told me that he's bass player. And, and you very mm. kindly say that you'll play for us um, a song that you wrote, but inspired by the master Paco de Lucia. By the ma yeah, well, this is a little number called Tis of Joy. Please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.